Throughout history, folklore and myths have been used to explain the world and its mysteries. The question is, did they really exist? Today, we will explore 20 mythical creatures that in some form or other were believed to have existed in real life. Make sure you watch until the end to discover some mythical creatures that you might be surprised ever existed. Without further ado, here are the top 20 mythical creatures that actually existed in real life. Number 16. Dire Wolves Dire wolves, while often depicted in fantasy, were actually a real breed of extinct canine. They were one of the most famous prehistoric carnivores of North America, alongside their contemporary competitor, the Cimlodon. These animals were formidable predators, measuring about 5 feet in length and weighing between 150 to 200 pounds. They were about 25% larger than the biggest giant dogs alive today, and 25% heavier than the heaviest gray wolves. Number 15. Griffins Legend has it that griffins are mythical creatures with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle. While griffins may not actually exist, there are real animals that have inspired the idea of griffins. For example, in the first millennium BC, Scythian nomads in Central Asia told stories of griffins guarding gold mines. It is possible that these nomads saw the skeletons of the Protoceratops dinosaur and created the griffin legend to explain them. Other dinosaur fossils have also been found in the same mines. Number 14. The Camel Leopard The Camel Leopard, also known as the Giraffe, was believed to be a monstrous hybrid of a camel and a leopard during the medieval period. Despite being considered dangerous, the Camel Leopard is actually a real animal with no magical properties. It just has the unique appearance and distinctive markings that frighten travelers and explorers of the time. Do you find the idea of mythological creatures like the Camel Leopard to be intriguing? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 13. Blemies The Blemies were a group of people from North Africa who were known for their unusual appearance. According to legend, they did not have a head, and their face was located on their chest, with their shoulders above it. The Blemies were a nomadic kingdom that lived in northern Nubia between 600 and 300 AD. The ancient Greek historian Herodotus, who lived between 484 and 425 BC, wrote about the Blemies in his work Histories, referring to them as the Ekephloi, or those without a head. He claimed that they lived on the eastern edge of Libya. Despite the fact that the actual Blemie tribe no longer exists, the legends of these headless men have continued to be told throughout history. Number 12. The Dabhar Chu the Dabhar Chu is a creature from Irish folklore that is said to have the appearance of both a dog and an otter, or sometimes as a half-dog, half-fish creature. According to legend, the Dabhar Chu lived in water and had fur with protective properties. It is thought that the Dabhar Chu may have been a relative of the otter, which was a predator around 6 million years ago. The Dabhar Chu was said to be the size of a wolf, weighing around 110 pounds, and had a powerful bite that could crush shells or the bones of birds and other mammals. Although little is known about the Dabhar Chu, it is likely it was a formidable predator and could easily have inspired legends. Number 11. The Nine-Tailed Fox In Asian folklore, nine-tailed foxes are believed to be ordinary foxes that have lived for a very long time, between 50 to 100 years. As they age, they are said to gain more tails, with each tail representing an increase in their wisdom and magical abilities. The nine-tailed fox is considered to be the most powerful and known for its ability to transform into a beautiful woman in order to deceive and lure in victims. These mythical creatures are popular in several Asian countries, including China, Japan, Korea, and Vietnam. Number 10. Kraken Pirates often tell tales of terrifying encounters with giant sea monsters while sailing on the open seas. One such creature is the Kraken, a legendary creature said to dwell in the depths of the sea near Norway and Iceland. The word Kraken is derived from the German word for octopus, which may have influenced the way the Kraken is often depicted in art as a large creature with many arms that can reach the height of a ship's main mast. According to legend, no ship could withstand an attack from the Kraken as it could easily sink ships by wrapping its tentacles around them and either drowning or eating the crew. It's possible that the legend of the Kraken is based on the giant squid, a real creature with long tentacles that can grow up to 40 to 50 feet in length and is known to occasionally surface and attack ships. Number 9. Sirens 
In Greek mythology, sirens were female creatures who lived near the surface of the water and were known for their captivating singing. They would use their enchanting music to lure sailors towards the shore, where their ships would inevitably crash. Some myths even suggest that the sirens had the ability to control the wind. In their depictions, sirens were often portrayed as a combination of a woman and various birds, such as having large bird feathers and feet of a bird or a body with a human head. Later on, they were more commonly depicted as sinister mermaids. We're about halfway through our video and just a few more creatures to go before we reveal number one. So, which of these mythological creatures so far have been your favorite? Who do you think will be number one? Keep watching to find out. Okay, on to the next creature. Number eight, werewolf. A werewolf, according to European folklore, is a person who transforms into a wolf at night and consumes animals, people, or corpses before returning to human form during the day. Some werewolves have the ability to change shape at will, while others, who may have inherited the condition or have been bitten by a wolf, involuntarily transform under the influence of a full moon. If a werewolf is injured while in wolf form, the injuries will appear in their human form, potentially revealing their true identity. Belief in werewolves exists in various cultures around the world, and they have gained popularity as horror movie characters, such as in the films The Wolfman, 1941, and An American Werewolf in London, 1981. Number 7. The Bunyip The Bunyip is a creature from the mythology of indigenous people of southeastern Australia, said to inhabit swamps, creeks, rivers, and other bodies of water. In modern times, the word Bunyip is typically translated as devil or evil spirit by Aboriginal Australians. There are varying descriptions of the bunyip's appearance, but it is most commonly described as being around four to six feet long with a shaggy coat that is either black or brown. It is said to have a round head similar to a bulldog, prominent ears, no tail, and whiskers like a seal or otter. The question is, do they really exist? Number six, the Yowie. The Yowie is a mythical creature said to inhabit the outback region of Australia, similar to Bigfoot in North America. It is described as a hairy, ape-like creature that stands upright at a height of 7 to 12 feet. One investigator, Andrew McGinn, has suggested that the death and mutilation of a pet dog near Darwin may have been caused by an attack from a yowie, although the dog's owners attribute the incidents to dingoes. Since the mid-1970s, paranormal enthusiast and self-proclaimed cryptozoologist Rex Gilroy has devoted himself to searching for the Yowie and claims to have gathered over 3,000 reports of its existence. Number 5. The Nemean Lion The Nemean Lion was a fearsome monster from Greek mythology that lived in the region of Nemea. It was known for its golden fur, which was impervious to attack and could not be harmed by mortal weapons. Its claws were also incredibly sharp and capable of destroying armor. Despite its formidable powers, the Nemean lion was eventually killed by the hero Hercules. As a reward for defeating the beast, Hercules wore the Nemean lion's coat as a cloak, as it was not only resistant to damage, but also protected him from the elements. Number 4. The Roc The Roc is a legendary bird of enormous size, said to be capable of carrying off elephants and other large animals as food. It is mentioned in the Arabic collection of tales known as the Thousand and One Nights. According to mythologists, the rock was likely around 20 feet tall with a wingspan of about 48 feet. Its eggs were reportedly enormous with a circumference of around 110 feet. It is said that these giant birds went extinct around 1000 to 1200 AD due to human activity. Number 3. El Chupacabra the El Chupacabra, also known as the Goat Sucker, is a legendary monster that became well-known in 1995 and was often blamed for strange livestock deaths. It is described as a dog-like creature that drinks the blood of animals such as goats, sheep, and other farm animals and pets. These creatures have been described as hairless and wolf-like, and it is believed that sightings of the El Chupacabra may have actually been dogs infected with the parasite mange which causes them to lose their hair and have an otherworldly appearance. These animals may attack livestock because they are unable to hunt in the wild due to their condition, and farm animals are easier targets. While the El Chupacabra may not be a real creature, it is still a good idea to avoid stray dogs in Mexico and Puerto Rico for safety reasons. Number 2. Unicorns The unicorn as we understand it today has a few different possible origins. One of these is the narwhal, 
a type of arctic whale known for its long twisted tusk. During the Middle Ages and Renaissance, unicorn horns were highly sought after and were often sold at a high price by Vikings who hunted narwhals. In 1577, English explorer Martin Frobisher encountered a dead narwhal, which he referred to as a sea unicorn. Another possible origin for the unicorn is the rhinoceros, a creature with a head resembling a stag, feet like an elephant, and a single black horn on its forehead. This similarity has led some to believe that the Indian legends of the unicorn may have been inspired by rhinoceros. Number 1. Hobbits Although J.R.R. Tolkien's world of hobbits may seem like a fantasy, it may not be as far-fetched as it seems. In fact, our own world once had a species of hobbits known as Homo florensianus, also known as the Flores Man, or simply Hobbit. This extinct species of small archaic humans lived on the island of Flores in Indonesia until the arrival of modern humans around 50,000 years ago. The remains of an individual who was less than four feet tall were discovered on the island of Flores in 2003 and have been the subject of intense research to determine whether they were diseased modern humans or a separate species. Some evidence suggests that the remains may have been those of a person with Laron syndrome or Down syndrome. This concludes our list of 16 mythical creatures. We hope you enjoyed learning about them and that you can discover some new information. If you have any suggestions for creatures that you believe should have been included in this list, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Amazing Animals, and turn on notifications for future content. We'll see you in the next video.